What's going on everybody, it's Rick here, and today's video is gonna be more of a vlog style, if you will, kinda of long too, uh, because I wanted to share with you and kinda of have you experience with me for the first time uh, what is inside of these boxes down there below. Yeah, there's some gaming stuff there too. So, I've been gaming a long, long time. Probably one of the biggest regrets that I have made, uh, or that I have, is that back in the early days, I either sold or traded in a lot of my original gaming stuff. So Atari 2600, I had tons of games for that and got rid of that. Probably one of my biggest regrets would have been uh, getting rid of the Vectrex Entertainment System. Uh, look it up online if you don't know what that is. Really cool, uh, old school, all-in-one system. Looked like a little mini TV. Had a bunch of games for that too, got rid of that. Those things are hard to find now, and if you do, they're relatively expensive to pick up. Um, but I kind of learned my lesson because going through, I decided I'm gonna stop doing that. Um, my N64, I had sold that. Um, so I've got like Dreamcast, I've got GameCube, I've got original Xbox and all of that. And I wanted to pull a lot of this stuff out of storage to just kind of hook them up again and play them. And maybe I'll start showing some of the content on this channel as well. But enough about that. Let me go ahead and open the tripod up here, the mini tripod. I'm shooting this on my Sony ZV-1 and I am gonna aim it downwards uh, because I want you to see what's inside of this box. But then also what I'm gonna show you is a couple of other things. So if you've never seen this, and I found this in my storage, this is the original Xbox Live beta kit, which is really cool. This is before Xbox Live launched. And that's actually how I secured my Xbox Live beta name. And just so you can see what's inside, one of the things, kind of cool. And it talks about being a beta tester. Remember, beta discs will no longer work after November 15th, 2000 and two kind of crazy that was a very exciting time um, maybe I'll go back later and show you what's inside of that box but or this box but very exciting time I remember playing the game whacked on the beta of live every single day so much fun found this this is really not so new I would say but you know, a little portable game player that has a bunch of games on it. So I might crack that one open and check it out again. Kind of cool because it has like Sonic and Street Fighter and all that stuff. And it's really small. So if I open this up, this is what it looks like. I mean, that thing is tiny. All of these are going to have to be tra uh, charged up, I'm sure. That looks to be probably one of the newer things, although there is one other newer thing in here that I'll show you in a minute. Um, this is my Sega Dreamcast that I actually kept. So I'm not going to open that up, but we'll put that aside. I love the Dreamcast so, so much. Um, oof, heavy, man. Xbox. I'm going to open this for a minute because check this out. This is not a remake. This is the original Duke controller, as they would call it. The Xbox Duke controller. Smells like tires inside of that box. That can't be a good sign, right? So before there were Nintendo DS's and Nintendo Switches, there was a lot of these. Um, it was the Game & Watch, or it was even this kind of stuff. So check that out. This is a tri-screen VTech Diamond Hunt. And I can only imagine how thrash this is gonna be. Because I remember playing this as a kid like crazy. And this opens up three screens. And I remember you go from here to here to here. And um, man, I'm going to have to see if I can actually bring that one back to life. That would be kind of fun. Of course, my GameCube. And I think I just have the black GameCube. Yeah, I do. All right, we'll set that aside. That would be fun to open that one up and play my Animal Crossing. 
I bet you I have a ton of weeds. This is another newer thing, Neo Geo X Gold. Uh, comes with all of those games. But enough about that. So that's the kind of cool stuff, but at the same time, things that maybe are not that big of a deal because we've all seen those things before. I don't know what's in here, and I, hopefully there's no spiders because I don't like spiders. Spiders are gross. Uh, let's start with this one. This, that's really, really heavy. So, okay, so it looks like we got a ton of accessories in this box. I'm not going to go through all of this, but um, the Dreamcast controller. Yeah. Looks like we have a light gun probably for a Dreamcast as well. Um, here's my main, my main Dreamcast controller. I remember that one quite well. And yeah, you know what? We'll go through this box another time. It just looks like a bunch of cables. It looks like a bunch of controllers. Definitely something I'm gonna need. Oh my gosh, this one's heavy. This is where all the money and the cool stuff is. No spiders, please. Yeah, there's a ton of stuff in here and it's really, really heavy. So we, we, PlayStation demo discs, tons of demo discs. Um, look at that. A web browser for the Sega Dreamcast. Um, same with that, Sega Dreamcast web browser. Uh, what else do we have? A bunch of, I won't go through all these, but a bunch of demo discs from the Xbox magazine. Um, more demo disc sort of things. Oh yes. Okay, so check this out. This is kind of cool. When Nintendo Power actually had special discs that came with it. And this says exclusive, the new E3 2005 Legend of Zelda trailer in Dolby Digital. And these are all video clips that are on this disc from Nintendo Power. Xbox sticker, more demo discs, more demo discs. We don't need to look at all those demo discs. Um, I sure loved the concept of this back in the day. This is before digital delivery, so you would purchase a Xbox, official Xbox magazine, and it would come with these demo discs that you could play your games. And this is how you would do it, so back then. Uh, do we see anything interesting? Well, this is kind of interesting. So this is the Xbox Live Starter Kit that, of course, includes Wacked and MotoGP. So, limited, I don't know how this, limited edition soundtrack for Silent Hill for the Room. That's kind of cool. Oh, I didn't even know I had this either. So this looks, okay, so back in the day as well, a lot of stuff that I used to do, I'd go to import game stores back in the Bay Area. And this is probably where I picked this one up. This is an import and it looks to be Naruto. So, um, for the GameCube. And if I recall correctly, there was no region lock on the GameCube. So I'll have to try that. These are all demo discs. If I find something interesting, I'll show it to you. Um, more discs from the Xbox magazine. So that's kind of cool. More discs from the Xbox magazine. Dang, there's a lot of discs from the Xbox magazine. And then Dreamcast magazine, because Dreamcast had one too. And they actually would provide demo discs in their magazine as well. Um, oh, check that out. Mario Party card game. So this is that little e-reader that came out for the Game Boy. And I don't even know, is the e-reader in there? 
I don't see the e-reader in there, but I see cards, and they look like they're still sealed. So that's kind of cool. Um, okay. Import for the Sega Dreamcast, because I love Darkstalkers. And this is Vampire Chronicles, which is Darkstalkers. So I'm definitely going to have to crack it out, uh, out my, um, my Dreamcast and play that. Ready to rumble. There was something about this game that I remember. When I first got it, it didn't have that hot new sticker on it. And there was a game-breaking bug in it and the way that you knew if you had the one that didn't have that bug is it had this big green hot new sticker on it sort of the berserk guts rage i thought i was cool at the time putting it in a red case wacky racers all dreamcast stuff samba de amigo now i didn't put it on this video but i actually have two sets of maracas and the uh, placemats for it so I'm going to try playing this one again. So, so cool. Speed Devils. No idea what that's all about. Ah, uh, yes, I remember this game very well. Shadow Man. So this was a cool title that I really enjoyed. We got some PlayStation stuff mixed in here as well. Check that out. Silent Hill. It's the greatest hits edition of Silent Hill. For some reason, I have a PSP instruction manual in here. Um, we've got more demo disc stuff. I'm going to set that aside because there is just tons and tons and tons of things in here. This is ridiculous. More uh, Xbox Magazine stuff. Tokyo Extreme Racer 2. There is no way I'm going to have room for all this stuff. Revolt and Rayman 2. What else do we got? Soul Fighter. I don't remember that one. Do you guys? Dreamcast. Rippin' Riders. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis on the Dreamcast. Resident Evil Code Veronica on the Dreamcast. Metal Gear Solid, the original, on the PlayStation. And there you have it, right on the inside. Two discs. Trick Style. Toy Commander. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. House of the Dead 2. NFL Blitz 2000. Huh. MDK, Murder, Death, Kill 2. Legacy of Kane, Soul Reaver. Ah, this is one that I loved. Somebody needs to remake it. It wouldn't take a whole lot. Jet Grind Radio. Hydro Thunder. I played this a lot, too. It also has that hot new sticker on it. Gauntlet Legends. Fighting Force 2. There's a lot of games in here that I just don't remember. Fantasy Star Online. I played this one quite a bit. PlayStation demo disc, <laughs> Game Shark, some internet browser stuff, Crazy Taxi 2, yep, Space Channel 5, I remember that game, Zombie Revenge, Soul Calibur and Vigilante 8 second, def uh, offense, not defense. Ah, PlayStation stuff. Castlevania Symphony of the Night. Street Fighter Alpha 2. Here's another game that I kind of miss. Blood Omen the Legacy of Kane. That would be cool to have a, a remake of that. Um, public beta for Ratchet Deadlocked. Original Shinmu. Skies of Arcadia. I loved this game on the Dreamcast. Makes me remember my um, my Sega Saturn. And I had sold my copy of Panzer Dragoon uh, Saga 
big mistake. Sonic Adventure 2, Sonic Adventure, Sonic Shuffle, Sega Rally 2. I'm seeing Xbox here as well in just a minute. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh, I do remember this. This was the uh, Legend of Zelda Four Swords, and I didn't want to wait for it to come out uh, in America, and I actually picked it up as the import. And so this is the GameCube version of it that is imported. Right on. I had forgotten that I had some of this stuff. Holiday demo disc. Um, oh, wow. This is still completely sealed? No, it's not. Metal Gear Music CD. Check that out. Dreamcast Magazine stuff. Xbox Magazine stuff. Expendable. Evolution 2 with Free Grandia 2 Music CD. Dead or Alive 2. Oh, somebody could remake this. Do you remember Dino Crisis? Crazy Taxi, the original one. Choo Choo Rocket, we've seen that because I think that's even on the Switch now, if I remember. Armada. This was a fun game. Power Stone. Oh, boy. Wow. Okay, so these are all demo discs. That's the uh, Xbox Arcade stuff. I'm going to have a hard time putting this stuff back in here when I'm done. Um, what else do I got? There's some, like, accessory stuff in here. A lot of paperwork. Thanks for the Wii. Thanks for the PlayStation. I want to get this stuff out of the side before I get to some of the other more modern stuff. Um, these are all demos. Demo disc stuff. And then we're going to get to a few more modern stuff. Another demo disc. NBA 2K and NFL 2K1. Alright, that brings us to what appears to be a combination of GameCube, uh, Xbox, and PlayStation 2 stuff, which should get interesting. Marvel versus Capcom 2. I'm running out of floor space here. Okay, reposition. All right. Rogue Galaxy. I don't think I ever played that one through. Sly Cooper. Whatever happened to Sly? And why haven't they remade him? This is by Sucker Punch. Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure on the PlayStation 2. Oh, this was a cool game. I remember this by Atlas. Rule of Rose for the PlayStation 2. And then we've got Dragon Quest 8. <laughs> Took me a minute. Bard's Tale. Blood Omen 2. Blood Rain and Blood Rain 2. I'm sensing a vampire theme. Ooh. Silent Hill 4, The Room. This was another cool game, and I remember this one very well. Fatal Frame, where you take those uh, photos, and it's really, really, really creepy, uh, that game. Conquer Live and Reloaded with a big, big warning on it. It is not for kids. <laughs> Fatal Frame 2, Crimson Butterfly, the director's cut. Beyond Good and Evil, that was fun. I remember that game. Oh, yeah, Batman Vengeance. This one I remember, too. Okay, Panzer Dragoon Orta. Yourself Fitness. I actually used this one quite a bit back in the day on my Xbox and found it to be quite 
Useful. This is still sealed. Sly 3. Castlevania Lament of Innocence on the PlayStation 2. I don't know what all that stuff is. Oh, man. These, these. Yes, 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 yes. Star Wars Bounty Hunter for the GameCube. I'm going to have to definitely go back and play this along with Star Wars Rogue Leader Rogue Squadron 2. Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3. I'm sure there's other ones there. Spawn for Xbox. Keeps going. It keeps going. Kingdom Hearts 2. Check that one out. Wario World for the GameCube. Still sealed. Wow. Beautiful Joe 2. Completely sealed. Beautiful Joe. My friends got this for me as a joke for my birthday. Um, <laughs> tube slider. It's kind of like um, their take on a wipeout, I think it was. It actually wasn't that bad, believe it or not. It really wasn't. Transformers on PlayStation 2. Resident Evil Zero. There's some pretty good stuff. This would take a long time to go through everything. Resident Evil Code Veronica X, GameCube. Super Mario Sunshine, GameCube. Resident Evil 4 for the GameCube. Resident Evil 3 Nemesis for the GameCube. Big Resident Evil fan. Resident Evil 2 for the GameCube. Resident Evil for the GameCube. And what is this? Oh, this is a preview disc. So Star Wars Rebel Strike Rogue Squadron 3 limited edition preview disc featuring the Atari Star Wars original arcade game playable on the Nintendo GameCube. Did that arcade game come on the original or was it only on this demo disc? I don't know. Shenmue 2. Ah, the original not okay so this is the uh four swords adventures legend of zelda and it looks based on the sticker that i probably bought it at fry's electronics for 50 bucks at the time but this is not the import obviously and it came with the link cable and i think that might have been the reason why i bought that i'm not sure this is a game that definitely needs a remake and I've been saying this forever, and I don't know why it's it hasn't had a remake yet, even a remaster. Uh, this game really messed with my head when I played it. Eternal Darkness. I really think that this game would do well as a remake or something. Um, Dragon's Lair 3D. Batman Rise of Sinzu. Shinzu. Paper Mario, the Thousand Year Door. Pac-Man World 2. Skies of Arcadia Legends. We're almost done. Are you guys finding this interesting? Because I am. I mean, there's some titles in here that I haven't seen in a long, long time. Uh, and I just figured I'd cut a, a video and show it to you. Um, of course, we'll go back and Maybe we'll play some of these. So there's a couple of PSP demo discs in here. Killzone Liberation and World Tour Soccer 06. Do you remember these discs? This is what they looked like. They were just like that. They actually uh, had movies too that came out in that format. Oh yes, this is definitely a playable one. Please, 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 somebody needs to make a modern day version of this remastered. If nothing else in this entire box, please. The Nightmare Before Christmas, Oogie's Revenge. It was also available on the PlayStation 4. And this, this right here, I mean, I'm a huge Nightmare fan, but this game for its time... I'm going to have to do a video on this. I'll figure out a way to do the capture and I'll get a video on this and you'll see what I mean. Uh, they had some of the voice actors from the movie on this. They actually um, had some remade songs on this. And yeah, so check that out. And if you remember, so if you're new to this, back in the day, everything came with instruction manuals. 
And if I remember correctly, yep, this one was especially nice because it was all colorful on the inside and it had the artwork, which was super, super cool. I mean, nowadays there are no such thing as these instruction manuals, right? Um, but it was a little bit of an art booklet too because check it out, all the characters and it has a little profile for them and you can learn about them. That was the nice thing about getting a physical copy back in the day is you also would get these sorts of things. So my light's doing weird things in here. So I really hope that you guys are able to see this okay. Indiana Jones and the Emperor's Tomb. Oh my gosh. I completely forgot about this. If you're a wrestling fan, do you remember Day of Reckoning 2? Man, that's some old school stuff with Stacy Keebler on the front. Is that, yep, Batista and John Cena on the back? Dang, I totally forgot about that game. Jet Set Radio Future. So that was a, that was a remake, right? Um, we saw Jet Set Radio or Jet Grand Radio on the Dreamcast, and then here's Star Wars Jedi Knight Jedi Academy. This, of course, I believe is one that just re-released on the Nintendo Switch. I got Pac-Man fever. Dragon's Lair 3D. Legacy of Kane Defiance. If you're wondering what dropped out, it was that. Oh, I forgot about this one, too. I'm going to have to go back and play this as well. Terrible movie. I don't remember how the game was. The Haunted Mansion. Disney's Extreme Skate Adventure. <laughs> Star Wars The Knights of the Old Republic 2. Followed by Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. And this was another one that I played a lot of. Um, actually, not that one. This one right here. Buffy the Vampire Slayer. I was a huge Buffy fan. Watched it every single week. And when this game came out, I was super stoked about it. The interesting thing is, is I don't think I ever really played the second one here, Buffy the Vampire Slayer Chaos Bleeds. So I might have to go back and do that. I don't know why I have an empty case here. Halo 2 Limited Collector's Edition on Xbox. Hunter the Reckoning, I remember playing that one quite a bit. Hunter the Reckoning Redeemer, the original Halo on Xbox. We're almost done. Metal Gear Solid 2, play import games on your GameCube. Turn your GameCube into an international console. Plays games from other regions. It is the freeloader. Maybe, maybe I was wrong. Maybe you did have to have something like that. Psychonauts. That's not where I got my gamer tag, though. I'll tell that story another time. But uh, everybody always asks, oh, is your gamer tag Psychonaut because of the game? No, although I do love this game quite, you know, quite a lot. I always love Psychonauts. And now Psychonauts 2 is coming. Silent Hill 2 on the Xbox. Castlevania Curse of Darkness. Dark Watch. I remember that game. I remember this one too. Voodoo Vents had a very um, Nolan style to it. French Quarter. We're at the very tail end here. Kingdom Hearts. I am seeing games that are uh, have been remade now. Okami on the PlayStation 2. Odin Spear. Hot Wheels World Race. Ah, Star Fox Adventures. Remember this one? That's kind of cool. International Winter Sports 2002. Uh, still sealed. Super Monkey Ball 2. For a whopping $10 at Walmart. Check that out. And do I have the memory card in here? I don't. I think the memory card for the original Animal Crossing is actually inside of my GameCube box. I hope so, at least. Uh, it's probably about five or, or no probably about 10 games left okay so zelda four swords we saw the box earlier and there it is harvest moon luigi's mansion love that game 
18 wheeler American pro trucker. I remember this was also an arcade game uh, that you could play in the arcade. Wow, look at this. I must have bought this at Blockbuster Video. Can you see that? Check that out. It has a Blockbuster Video tab. Everything is falling on me. I'm going to have a massive avalanche here. Eesh. Hold up. Ah, that's not good. Okay. Primal. This was a really good game. I remember that one. Uh, Soul Reaver 2. I'm going to have to put all this stuff back. The Bouncer. And if I remember, this came with maybe a demo for a Final Fantasy game. I'm not sure. I wonder what ever happened to this title. Square Soft. Huh. Okay. Parappa the Rapper 2. <clears throat> War, of the, War of the Monsters. That was fun. I remember this wrestling game, Rumble Roses. And Metroid Prime. Very good game. And Metroid Prime 2 Echoes. Billy Hatcher and the Giant Egg. <laughs> Disney's Party. FX or F-Zero GX, what am I saying, FX, and Star Wars The Clone Wars, and Tetris Worlds. And then I think, uh, demo disc, Gretzky demo disc, a lot of stuff that's demo discs. Here's another startup disc for Xbox Live. Hey, check it out. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I found, I found, my beta disc. These belong in the box over there. So here is the NFL Fever 2003 beta disc that came with Xbox Live, that beta kit. And then here is the actual Xbox Live beta kind of pamphlet thing here that had your code, your instruction manual. Here was the actual disc, if I can get it out, that had whacked on it and everything. Wow, that's cool. All right, so now I have a massive mess. <laughs> Let me pick this up. So now I have a massive mess on the ground. Check this out. Ugh, this, my leg has fallen asleep on me. Everything is spilled out everywhere. I'm going to pick it up. I'm going to put it back in the boxes. Uh, but quite a history there. I mean, quite a history of games, don't you think? So. Are there any of them that you want to see on the channel? Kind of take a, a trip back in time and, and get them loaded up. Because I'm going to figure out how to capture some of these older games and put them on the channel for you guys. Uh, I definitely want to play through Nightmare Before Christmas. I love that game. And some of these other titles that I'm seeing now that are reminding me, uh, things like Eternal Darkness and whatnot, I might want to try those as well. And then I'm going to go back to the vault probably in another week or two and see what else I can find. Um, I may even try to get my Samba de Amigo Maracas going. Uh, that was a good time. Uh, it, it released on the, was it the Wii U or the Wii? I can't remember. Uh, but on the Dreamcast, it was the funnest because you had the Maracas. They had the actual rattle inside. You had a play mat that you stepped on. So it kind of reminded you a little bit of Dance Dance Revolution. Um, and that game was just fun. So, and then of course, all these Star Wars games. I've got to play those. Anyhow, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Again, this is more of a vlog style. I just wanted to open it up, see what we could find together. Uh, I am going to play through some of these games. Let me know if you guys want to see any of the titles that I showed you here on the channel. I'll kind of make a note of it, earmark it to do a future video on it. Thanks for kind of looking through. And the good news is, is I don't see any spiders, so that's a good thing. <laughs> All right, thanks for watching. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. By all means, hit that subscribe button on your way out. If you haven't done so already, it really helps the channel here. And uh, let me know your thoughts down below. I'll be talking to you guys soon. And I appreciate you hanging with me on this one. Take care, everybody. Have fun and please be safe.